Mm. <laughs> anyway, welcome. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Prime Minister. It's <laughs> very cute. Now, can you tell me what Mr. Van der Bloog is like as a teacher? Legend. Uh, right. uh, thank you, thank you, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, did uh, Thomas were you given money to say that? No. No. <laughs> All right. So, what? What? Tell me why. Why is this teacher a legend? He involves everyone and everything, and he's really good at science. Really good at science. Yeah. It's good. And what do you like about science? Everything. Everything. Oh. Okay. So, do you get to do experiments? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, <laughs> right. And what are you studying in science at the moment? Uh, light. Light. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Right, Sid could answer a few questions about that if you've got uh, hard ones <laughs> that yeah, haven't been given the answer yet. I don't think so. No, oh, maybe not. Oh, well, the we'll light's see. coming through here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about light in particular that you're interested in? Tell us a bit more. Who else is speaking there? Who else is doing light? Any light, just bending it and reflection, refra refraction. Reaction, mm, refraction. That's good. Yeah, that's, right. yep. that's good. That's good. Well, do you have some... Do you have some questions for us? You might want to know why yeah. your teacher's actually here in Canberra. Do you know why you've lost your teacher for today? Yes. 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 And why? <laughs> <laughs> and why is that? And why is Mr. Van der Ploeg here? He's in Canberra. Yeah. But do you know yes. why he's in Canberra? So he's nominated for an award. Oh, good, uh, good. Yes. <laughs> yes, he was nominated for an award, so that's uh, good you know. Have you got any questions for, for the Prime Minister? Is it hard work? I've been a Prime Minister. Yeah, it is pretty hard work. Um, <laughs> there's, there's always uh, sort of more to do than you can get done, so you've got to be very, very focused on what are the most important things to do that can make the biggest long-term difference. Uh, we've been here in Parliament this week, so a parliamentary day means we start very early with meetings and media commitments and we go quite late in the night. Uh, tonight, though, I'll get the opportunity to go to uh, the Science Awards, so I'll be there watching as some very special people around the nation end up getting recognised. <laughs> so it's a pretty good job, but it is a lot of hard work. You got another yes. question? Uh, did you have an interest in science as a student? I did. I studied uh, physics and chemistry uh, in high school, so I studied them, you know, all the way to year 12. And I did think about following them up. I enjoyed the study of physics and chemistry. Ultimately, I did track in a different direction and I studied law and economics, but I did find both of them fun. I particularly liked chemistry, something very, you know, so precise about it, so kind of uh, elegant about it that you always know you can work through to get very clear answers. Another question? Okay. Do you ever get tired of travelling around? Yes, you do. Uh, it's travelling around physically tiring, you know, because you're in different places and packing and unpacking, and if you travel internationally, you're in different time zones. So there are times when you just think, gee, it'd be nice to be at home and wake up in your own bed. Uh, but when I travel around the country, I do get to meet some fantastic people. I get to go to a lot of schools, so I really love doing that. And when I travel internationally, it's for really important uh, things about Australia and our place in the world and the region we live in. So, you know, the fact that it's important helps sustain you, even if you're wandering around going, oh, what have I done with the hairdryer? Did I leave that two <laughs> hotels ago? And that kind of stuff, which does happen. <laughs> yes, I left my hair dryer the other week. <laughs> What's your favourite place that you've travelled to? Favourite place? Um, 
Oh, that's a that's a bit hard to pick. Um, <laughs> I always I, I, I'm getting suggestions for answers here. I always do like it when I get to visit Sid. That's true in Tasmania in your part of the world. Uh, I love it when I get back to Adelaide in South Australia because that's where my family is. So then I not only uh, travel for you know doing prime ministerial work, but I travel so that I can see just my mum and my sister and my niece and nephew. Um, around the world, uh, you know, it's in the news a lot at the moment, but New York is a pretty amazing city to go and have a look at. Uh, and Washington, which is kind of the Canberra equivalent, uh, is, a, is a great city to be a tourist in too. Fantastic. Well done. Thank you. Another <laughs> question? <laughs> what is the most important thing about being a Prime Minister? The most important thing uh, is you get to make decisions today that you know will change the nation for the future, for 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the track amongst the big decisions we're taking today that will have that really long-term impact uh, is the work that we're doing in schools because uh, there's actually nothing more important to our country's future than what's happening in your classroom and classrooms around the nation so I like doing that I like thinking about what would make us a better place a stronger place a fairer place for the long term and then making the decisions today that will get us there have you a question? Now, what's the most funnest thing in um, being Prime Minister? Uh, the, the, the funnest. The funnest. Um, I don't teach them English. <laughs> <laughs> I teach them across the group. <laughs> uh, oh, I'd say the funnest thing is that you uh, you get to to meet people in all sorts of, you know, you you get the opportunity to meet people. Uh, right around the nation, right around the world. Uh, you'd never get those doors uh, open unless you were Prime Minister. I mean, just, you know, the fact that I can um, make an arrangement to go and visit any school in Australia, there aren't too many people who could say that for themselves. Um, and, you know, that's a fantastic thing, that you can just turn up and meet people, whether it's in a school or in a shopping centre or whether it's at a big international meeting. So that's probably the best thing, you know, getting to to meet new people in really interesting circumstances. Yeah, what about one more question, Prime Minister? Is that all right? Yep, sure. Yeah, it'd be great. One more question. What place have you travelled to internationally? Ooh, lots and lots and lots of places. Um, just in the last few weeks, I've been to uh, Bali for the 10-year commemorations of the Bali bombing. I've been to Afghanistan to see our troops. I've been to India. Uh, to uh, cement our relationship with India, which is the biggest democracy in the world, and trading with India is going to be a big part of our nation's future. Uh, next week, I'll be going to uh, Laos, to Vientiane, uh, for an Asia-Europe meeting, and then back to Bali in Indonesia for a forum on democracy that President Yudhiyono is hosting. You know, I've been to... Uh, Washington, I've been to London, I've been to China, I've been to Japan, I've been to lots of places around the world. We just had one last question that Ashley would like to say to you for my statement. Ashley, would you like to visit our school? <laughs> I'd love to visit your school. So what I'll do is I will talk to your local member, Sid Sidebottom, and we'll see what we can do about me coming to your school. Gosh. But I won't be um, I won't be teaching any science when I'm there. It's quite a long time ago oh. I studied uh, physics and chemistry, so I might have forgotten a few bits. <laughs> that'd be lovely. Well, that'd, that's that'd a lovely great. offer. Thank yeah, you thank very you. much. Thanks, Beautiful guys. school. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. See you later, guys. See you. See you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bye. Yes.